Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And we're back for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing the Lego Marvel mech suits. But before we look at the figures themselves, we're going to look at all four of these packages. We got the... Uh, Iron Man from Wave 3, and he reminds me of Mark 42 Iron Man, because I've never seen this particular Iron Man before, and he just looks pretty cool. Product shot of the minifigure outside the mech suit, and so forth. And it's not a bad looking mech suit. Not bad for a 10 buck mech suit. Next box we're looking at is Black Panther. And good old Chichala gets a mech suit of his own. You'd be like, Wakanda forever. Nice product shot of mech suit Black Panther. And Black Panther with his alternative head. I do have his head on another figure because I didn't want to lose the extra head. Because they included an extra head with this figure. I know, right? I had to create a minifigure body to put him in. And the last pack we're gonna last box we're gonna look at is the mech suit Lego mech suit two pack. Sorry if I have to correct myself a bit here. The Marvel mech suit two pack with Doc Ock, Doc Ock and Spider Man. Why not? <laughs> we needed a Spider Man villain, didn't we? And now to look at the mech suits themselves. First, we're gonna look at is Black Panther. Articulation is pretty cool for the Mixel ball joint system, and his fingers are articulated, so he can get some some claw hands and be like Slash with those mech claws. Very articulated for these figures. And I'm so glad to finally have a complete wave. Bend at the knee, nice. Ankle tilt, nice. And now we're going to look at the minifigure itself. And here we got... Black Panther or T'Challa in his Black Panther suit. And just because I brought in the T'Challa head, I put it on another figure body because I didn't want to lose the body. But here's T'Challa's alternative head. You can make that out clearly. When I get an extra head, I don't want to lose an extra head with these mech suit figures. Extra accessories. So I created this body just for Chachala. Next on the list, we're going to look at another Wave 3 figure, and this is Iron Man. And he's got the re Repulsor Cannon. Pew. That's what I'm calling it. Articulation is very good on this figure. I love all the articulation for these suits. Why I've been picking them up. But here's the Iron Man suit, or the Mark 43 design of Iron Man suit, which is kind of pretty cool. It's a collage of Mark 43 and the Endgame Iron Man. Now for comparison with another Wave 3 figure. Here is Mech Suit Iron Man and Black Panther next to their fellow Wave mate, Wolverine. Why not? Dare I say, why not? But that's all there is to say for these mech suits. So let's look at the other two from the two pack, and then we'll do a group shot before we end this video. First on the list, we got good old Spider Man. You can never go wrong with a Spider Man. Articulation is really good on these figures. I love it. Just turned out wonderful, especially for this two pack, which is nice. And I love me some two-pack exclusives, if you know what I mean. But well, that's the articulation for Mech Suit Spider-Man. But before we do Doc Ock, we're going to look at that good-looking minifigure. And it's a nice Marvel Comics design Spider-Man. And now put him back in his suit. I get him back in his suit. Come on. Come on, work with me, Iron Man. Work with me, Spidey. I'm going to have to take him off camera and then reconnect him because he's fussy. He's got fussiness. Come on. Come on. 
and there we go. There is Spider-Man in his mech suit ready for battle. And these Lego mech suits are nice p figures for fill-ins for figures we don't, I don't have with Marvel. But now we're going to look at Doc Ock. You get these arms that are articulated. They're not on any ball joints, so they only move so far. Articulation, the arms can do a full 360. Legs got to bend at the knee, ankle tilt, and all that. That's not bad for a mech suit figure. But now we're going to look at the Otto Octavius. And he looks pretty mean looking, doesn't he? I love how this thing turned out. That's why this is definitely going on my shelf. But now for comparison with some other Wave 1 figures. Wave 1 Avengers Endgame version of Thanos and Wave 1 Iron Man. And this is a complete wave of figures that I got straight from Amazon and Dollar General because a lot of these I had to collect between Dollar General and here. But now, before we end this video, and before I make my comments, we're going to do a group shot with all my mech suits. Starting with the new in the back and the old up front. So let's start lining these babies up, shall we? Let's. And there are quite a few of them, so it's going to be quite the lineup, if you know what I mean. So yeah, we're almost done. The lineup so this is the entire lego mech suit collection for 2021 through 2020 and 2022 and this is 10 of these figures for this first and third and second wave are these worth adding to your collection if you're a marvel fan like me yes they are worth the money, and I highly recommend you pick these guys up. I am just so glad to finally complete these figures. It means I don't have to keep looking for them. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on and rock out YouTube land.